Meg's birthday present is here. What's wrong? I just expected them to be bigger. They're about seven footers. That's what we ordered. Yeah. I see leaves. They're kind of clumped together, huh? Yeah. All right, so I don't know if we're gonna get fruit out of those persimmon trees this year, as advertised. Looks like twigs, huh? So, for my birthday, this is what I wanted. We ordered two Persimmon trees. For you, persimmon. I think it's oriented them. It's bigger. Yeah, they're about that big. There's Native American ones, and they're like the fruits are like that big, but the these persimmons are like apple size. One of these is plum, and one of these is pomegranate. I don't mm -hmm. know which one's which. Okay. And we ordered kiwi plants, which are a vine. Those are these mm -hmm. three. So we planted our trees. So these are our kiwis. They grow on more of a vine, so we're gonna build a, a fence for them. And the persimmons, we put one right here and one right there. And then our tiny little pomegranate. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. It's right here. If you can even see it. There he is, it's little. See what happens. And then the plum is way over there on the end. So it lines up with these other ones. All right, out in the woods today. I'm going all the way up there to get some, I think that's oak. See, there's a piece that goes that way, right? And then there's another double log that goes that way. That's all one tree. It all split from the same uh, root ball. So I'm gonna go cut it and see what I got. Either got oak or walnut, I don't know. So here I am, I'm equipped with my, my uh, favorite train here. I got a come along and new, all new for 2021. I got these, uh, what are they called, log skids? So the way these things work, it's kind of creepy. It's like a chainsaw massacre or a Texas chainsaw massacre thing. If you guys have ever seen that movie. So I could fit, I think it's a 17 inch log um, like that. And then basically you put tension on this and it, and it grabs that log as you pull it. So I think the combination between the chain, the log skid and the come along, I'll be able to get it down off that hill. At least close enough to get the tractor on a chain and then grab it and go. So I'm going to go. I need to make more than one trip and I don't want to, but I'm going to take my chain up there. Yeah, I'll take the chain and the chainsaw. And we're going to go see what we get. Two minutes later, there's the tractor down there. I'm all out of breath. I probably should have taken a minute to wait. But anyway, burning daylight. There's the trunk. That thing split, runs that way, got hung up, never came down all the way. And this guy, look at this thing. That's a double trunk that heads that way. So this is actually off the ground, it should be good wood. Whew. I'm at least seeing a section right here that I can mill. That'd probably be the easiest. I think I might go head down there where it curves and make a make a test cut if you want to call it that. See what we're working with here. So here it is, 
Unfortunately, when I was cutting it, it cracked and it kept running. But, you know, it, all right, no big deal. It cracked to about like, about to here somewhere. I'm probably gonna use this section anyway. So not the end of the world. All right, I'm gonna cut that off and make sure that my, my crack has uh, subsided. Right, let's make another cut right here. Well, a little crooked, but oh well. I'm gonna take a slice of that guy right there. So hopefully I was smart this time. I've cleared mostly everything out of my way. I'm gonna try to get the log to do a tumble down the hill and we will see what happens. Okay, let's get this guy up and out of the way. All right, cool. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at there. It's not rotten, still in good shape. I'm gonna cut this piece, let her fall, and go down the hill. Toy. You don't put it at the very end? You can, but I gotta bring some slack. Alright, so when I give you slack, Meg, mm -hmm. take this. Don't worry about this hook. Just put it through to right here and through this hook, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Meg, if you're gonna fall, don't grab a wiggly tree. I won't w grab a wiggly tree. So we have John's dad's come along. Go ahead. And what is this thing called, John? Oh boy. Yep. There go my sunglasses again. Good? I think so. Okay, so we have that on that. And then John has it come along, and then we have it tied to that tree. And the green grass grew all around. I don't know, honey. Going on an adventure. I got my little little buddies behind me. This is our road. Uh 
Oh, I just saw some. Let's keep going. There's some right there. Oh. Ooh, look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what do you think, guys? That is cool looking, huh? Honey, let's go get some more. Hold on, we found we found what we're looking for. That's so pretty, isn't it? All right, we got Autumn's basket full, and Clara's basket is pretty full too. Look at all those. All right, let's go bring them back and uh, plant them. So we got back and the girls left me to get their bathing suits on because they were pretty hot. What do you think, it's like a half a mile down the road? Three quarters? Well, it's, like it's a lot of uphill. On the way back, it's like all uphill. All right, so we got a score. So these were tougher to get out than I thought, but there we go. That's what they look like. I wonder what they are. I don't know. They're good for erosion, though. I say I'll say that. So if we want this creek like this and to stay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go like this and see what they become. All right, that's the end result right there. We'll see what those things become. So I planted a bunch of them from like here over to there so i don't know Ooh. they found something very interesting very interesting in the creek so the kids play down here in the creek there's a little waterfall up there and everything right there let's get the chain make this one trip deal so what is that Looks like one of those like agriculture things that you dig up stuff with. Oh, maybe I could just put the chain. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pull it just like that. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh. All right, tractor's up there. I'm gonna put it on the backhoe, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a yank. And we'll capture that moment. You'll be the first to know what it is. No! Oh, GoPro. Rinse it off real quick. It's a GoPro. Waterproof? Is it? It is, but not with that microphone on it. All right, what is this thing? Anybody know? No. I think it's a thing that you sled on. Whoa. I think it's that thing that you stand on when you're sledding. I mean... Is it Jim's? It looks like a bumper to me. What's a bumper? It's like a car bumper. I think we're gonna get a full car. Daddy. It's not what I thought it was. I don't know what else it could be. That looks like about the size of a car bumper. doesn't get old. That thing is strong. That's a ridiculous log. Look at this thing. That's from the campground. I'm going to cut it up into some 2x4 uh, dimensional lumber. I'm going to need them for cross studs, a bunch of little things on the, uh, on the shed. 
but I will say this. Meg this morning said, John, you get out there and get milling. I kid you not, those were her, her exact words. Get out there and get milling. I guess we're homesteaders now. All right, so I got that thing on the tractor. Grapple bucket is awesome. It's a crazy amount of weight. I got two other big ones right there. This one's about seven or eight feet long, so I'm gonna get it on here. It's barely gonna fit as far as the diameter of a log that this thing can hold, so. All right, so as far as using the grapple bucket on the RK24, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it face down and kind of loosen the grip on the grapple a little bit so that I could then just drive forward and place it on the deck here and then let it go. I don't want to crush the deck um, because that log will crush this deck. You got to place it on here. You can't just roll it on roughly. Anyway, watch what I do here. It's the best way that I've uh, come up with to get logs on this deck. Instead of rolling it on and it slamming against the back plates here, getting everything out of level. Watch what I do. I revved up the engine there when I had the loader kind of performing tasks, especially before I lowered it. I notice if you're at lower RPMs with that loader and you try to bring it down, it's going to be very sloppy. But if you crank up those RPMs and get that hydraulic pump um, really performing, it um, it's able to lower things a lot slower. It's not so sensitive is what I'm trying to say. You could really just get it nice and easy descent. So little tip for you, rev up before you lower big heavy objects like this down. Now the question is, can I cut this thing? Look at these things crazy they're 16 inches wide these planks amazing anybody need a 2 by well 15 <laughs> 2 by 15 that's crazy all right so something just happened I'll give you a hint my doors are open yep it happened to me guys I didn't think it would actually I did think it would but I hit the guard the backstop actually twice I hit that one which I forgot about. Sometimes I don't even have that one there. And then I hit this one. And that blade, holy smokes, doled out so fast. I heard this high pitch squealing noise and it was way too late. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace the blade real quick. And that's the last blade I have until I have to sharpen all of them. One actually is 
I think I have a blade in here somewhere, the first one that the saw came with. I thought it was just toast, but apparently you can resharpen them. So I'm going to get get that blade switched out. Here's what I wanted to mention. When you are cutting slabs like this and you're getting really close to your deck, like three inches or less, I usually cut the slab and then I flip them around. I put the one that's going to be cut on next and then put the one I just cut below it and then pretty much you're repeating the cut just minus the thickness of the blade. So take your blade, drop it a sixteenth of an inch, make another pass and you'll have a two inch here and a two inch here and that would be your waist. So. Jeff, two girls. We're planting. Planting our seeds. Uh huh. Daddy, look, I could hammer. See? Do it. Okay, first I hold on to the nail. Very nice, Autumn. And then I get food a cup. Oh, you do a bunch of cups at once, huh? Mm hmm. All right. Good job, girls. Yeah. Look what I found, Autumn. I found this in the dirt. It's a gem. What's that Whoa. from? I think, you think it's, it's real? Are we it's rich? Plastic. It's like One-Eyed Willie's rich stuff. All right, Mom. What do we got? We is have this a part of homeschooling. Lot. Uh, yes. Okay. It is. Yeah. Autumn's putting the holes in the bottom of the cups. Why, girls? It's because it because they need water. They need water, and when they and then and then they need to drain out the the holes. Mm -hmm. Why? Why does it have to drain? It's because if it stinks, because if it has too much water, then it, it doesn't like too much water. Yeah, so the water it has could to die. Drain. It could die if it has too much water. All right, go ahead. Let's see your technique here, Autumn. Wow, I like that. All right, so we bought this, which is supposed to be like a apocalypse ready vegetable garden seeds. Okay. This has 30 different seed packets in it, mm -hmm. but then we bought some different ones and then we added some other ones too. So we have- An abundance? Uh, yeah. I mean, th these are all pretty much herbs and vegetables and a few fruits. Okay. So. I know we got a bunch of tomatoes and herbs. Oh, this I mean, you name it. Is, this is spaghetti squash. Yeah, we've saved a few too. Yeah. We got some spaghetti squash and... These are flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna go... We have a lot. I'm Most of these are herbs, mm -hmm. actually. Radish. Uh, radish. Very well be good. Yeah, lavender. I bought some corn and pretty much anything you could think of. Vegetables, herbs. Beans. Yeah, Watermelon, purple. spinach. I'm such a sucker. Look at them. Purple ones are cool to me. Daddy, this is plant food. Yeah, yeah, probably nitrogen. I'm gonna pull this out. All right, Autumn. All right, Claire, show me what you're up to. I'm grabbing these cups with holes in them. Yep. And I'm filling them with dirt. All right. Gave Meg an assignment. Right, Meg? I was fighting with trees all day in the forest. Meg said, give me a job. I gave her a job. Here's the job. Let's see how she did. I said, let's make the collar ties. Gave her the measurements, right? And I said, I need a 912 corner here. Let's see, Meg. Let's see how she did, folks. Nice, Maggie. Let's see. Boom, right there. Look, folks. 912 pitch. Yeah. Good job, man. Unless well, you got the saw at. Let's see. 37 degrees, right? 37? Yeah, it was 36.9, so I told her 37. 42 and 3 quarters. 42 and 3 quarters? What are you talking about? 
No, four feet, two inches and three quarters. Four, two, and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Good job, honey. Look at it! Look at it! She wants credit, guys. Alright, good deal. Good job, Maggie. That's Proud of you, honey. That's that's not even my template. This is my template with the X. Yeah? Yep. All right, I'm gonna shimmy up the ladder and uh, we're gonna get these things in there. Here, why don't you take uh, our friend GP? We're gonna get a new camera soon, guys. Right, Meg? Yep. All for you, people. You're gonna see us in all our glory even better. Up here, Meg. Let's go, Meg. Meg's got her roof legs. Right, Meg? Mm. Hey, Meg. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. The uh, the story about your sunglasses. Can you share it? Please. Oh. Yesterday when I was planting all of our seeds for our vegetable garden, there was a bee and he was interested in the seeds. And I told him, come back in a few weeks. And then he tried to get the flowers on my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully he'll be back. Here. Collar ties. All right. Man, that's nice wood. Hey, Colin, this is yours. This one's good. This is wood from the campground. Yeah. Quality stuff. And look at this stuff. What's up, Lowe's? Watch out. <laughs> okay, what are you doing with these? All right, collar ties. They go up here. What in the world, Meg? What's wrong? Mm -mm. What's wrong? It's not... Um... John, I did just what you told me to! <laughs> I did exactly what you told me. Um, okay. It doesn't line up? Mm -mm. Her angles are a little... That's not even close! <laughs> what happened? I think you pivoted on the wrong mark. <laughs> oh, But how is it still off? You gave me the degree. Uh, what? Yeah. You gave me a degree to put 30, the saw at. It's 36.9. It's a 9.12 pitch. I'm going to say this is your fault. I did exactly what you told me to. Let me see here. Okay, so that's the angle. See, it works like that. And yeah, too bad we're not putting them that direction. <laughs> Um, well, hmm. we'll make a small roof up here or something. So you had me do the same pitch as the raptors, but on? it really needed to be Why? not that. Maybe you had me do them all wrong. Maybe we should have come over here and measured the Made angle. sure it was right. So that angle... Oh yeah, that makes sense. You had me cut that angle. You! <laughs> yeah, this is your fault. You! Well, do you want to just go with something and then we'll we'll just adjust them all? We have to bring them all back down and cut them again. I want to say this is just me being a little obsessive compulsive because you don't have to do this. You could just put them up 90 degrees and get them up there and just boom boom put four nails in it and it's done. I just wanted it to look nice. 
We could have even put it up at the wrong angle if we wanted to, just so we could remember this mistake and how hard I worked. Is that what you wanted, Mike? No. Um, yes, we could have done any of those things, but it's worth the time just to do it. It'll look so pretty. Whenever I know that there's going to be something that I look at and I'm like, hmm. You know, you take a shortcut on something like that and like you walk in the building and you look at it all the time and you know that you're like, oh man, I should have cut those right. It would have looked so much better. So an extra 15 minutes. <laughs> An extra 15 minutes an hour later, right? Is that, is that accurate, Meg? That's always about accurate. It's okay, I just really need to accomplish something today. Why, why haven't you accomplished anything today, John? What did I, you do? I fought with a tree and lost. A tree was hung up in another tree, and I was like, I'll get that thing down. I couldn't get it down. But you spent all day trying. It involved jumping, pulling, come-alongs, chains, tractors. Rock throwing. <laughs> that was my solution. Rock throwing. Um, Throw a rock at it. It'll using fall. Using levers. I'm pretty sure that tree's going nowhere. First, I was like, well, I have to get it down now. It's all like, you know, it's we've made it dangerous. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a hurricane could come through here and that tree's going to say, hello. All right. I'm gonna get these up. Collar ties. They go here. They match the rafter angle now. So um, and that would be if you have an attic ceiling, you can put it up against those. But they help out with uh, the load of, of snow with pressure on the rafters, bending them this way, and also wind shear, um, which could actually twist it the opposite way, I've, I've read. So it's just a small board that really helps tie the thing together and strengthen it. So why not put it up there? I'm just using two by fours for these. And, uh, like I said, you could nip this off and just do it 90 degrees. I just wanted to put four nails with a lot of meat in each nail so it didn't support the board. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. John wants to have all the exterior siding of the shed to be the same kind of wood. And we don't currently have any type of wood in lengths that we need, in the size that we need, in all one type enough to fill, to cover the siding. So we went shopping, also known as a hike on the property, to try and find some trees to use and we found these there are three of them we're going to start with one furthest one here this is the west side trail is what we call it it's on the west side of the property it's right, the orchard is right there so you come out from the orchard or you from the orchard you follow down here this follows the west side of the entire property and there's a nice stream down there it's really pretty but i don't think we've shown it on the on the on the youtube channel we haven't shown this trail before so this is kind of new territory i think it was a logging trail at some point so these three trees we're going to start with this one right here and john wants to try and fell it that way because his theory is It'll be easier to pull the logs down the hill rather than filling it this way towards the stream and pulling them up the hill because the tractor can come through here.
April 1st, everybody. It's snowing. So yesterday I took down a large poplar tree. I just feel bad, I hate cutting down trees. But anyway, I tried to select one that I'm gonna get a very high yield out of the tree. So what we're gonna do, we were making the, the siding for the shed out of oak, but I have a lot of poplar trees on this property and I figured there's an abundance of them. Why not use what we have instead of hunting for something specific? Because I was trying to get an oak log off the side of the mountain the other day and it just didn't really work out. Uh, just too many obstacles and I couldn't get the tractor close enough so I had come along and it was just, you know, I'm killing myself for like one log. Be here. There's the poplar right on the trail. And, um,. So I got the RK24 out here and uh, finally got smart and just put put everything that my chainsaw, my chainsaw stuff in here. So here's my chainsaw. I got a 20 inch Craftsman I bring with me, okay? Um, I bring my helmet, ear protection, face protection. Oh, there's my other gloves. All right, I got an extra chain. I got the chainsaw um, wrench thing. I got these uh, crazy looking murder weapon hook things. What are those called? Um, log... I don't remember. Anyway, got a chain with me. I got a come along with me. And this is still in here. I don't really need that anymore. It's the bottle jack, but also a tape measure. So let's see here. Okay, got an obstacle already. Let's get this thing out of the way real quick. And uh, what's it attached to here? This poor little tree. All right, this tree was broken. I'm gonna cut that little tree or maybe just push this out of the way. All right. That's not a very big tree, but I do wanna kind of make a point of how great that grapple bucket is that I got. of you who haven't seen it that is my grapple bucket i got from titan attachments it's the 48 inch one has a single hydraulic cylinder on it and it pairs up nicely with the third function kit on the rk24 you just have to switch those uh, connectors to be more of a universal skid steer hydraulic quick connection so them and give them a workout on this log so here we are yesterday and i'll go ahead and admit it i meant for it to go that way not this way i just uh I'm, I'm trying i'm trying to learn i'm trying to yeah i'm gonna say something about that in a minute but first i'm going to cut it and cut it to the size of my what can fit on my mill and i'm gonna grab it with that grapple bucket and carefully get the heck out of here so here she is here's my hand for reference that's a very nice log I cut this thing down yesterday stumps behind me there fell this way I meant for it to fall up the hill I thought it would be easier to um, when I'm cutting up the logs to get with the tractor I thought it'd be easier to pull it down the hill versus pulling them back up the hill with the with the chain I have to say learning how to do all this I've never felled trees before I've just done my studying and I'm I try to be extra careful have a plan a plan B and plan C when I'm doing it but I never thought it would be as difficult as it is and you can really respect when someone does it everything goes according to plan it, it's tough especially when you have a tree this size this is about 20 inches at the base so 
what I did wrong, I think I cut the wedge too small and the wedge was pretty flat. I didn't go in far enough with the wedge, number one. And then number two, when I cut the back side of it, you have to be about two or three inches above that wedge, above the bottom line that you first cut of the wedge. And it's tough keeping your eye on a really big tree like this, seeing where the saw, because the saw pretty much has to be straight. So I'm learning, uh, but I started cutting it and then I saw it starting to lean the opposite direction, at which time I got the heck out of there. And once it kind of stabilized, I came back, cut a new wedge and cut the backside. So that's what happened here. So, but you know what? It actually worked out better because the thing fell right on the trail. It'd be easier to, uh, to get these logs. So I could get three monster logs out of this right now and go right to the mill with it without getting the tractor in a weird position in the woods or involving any chains for that matter. So. All right, I guess the whole point of that conversation is uh, I'm learning and I didn't, I know I'm doing things wrong and you learn from mistakes, but when you're taking chances on big things like this that can really mess you up, you gotta make sure you have, you gotta think it through before you just take the chainsaw into the woods and start cutting that thing up. So. You gotta sing the song. What's the song? On the mill again. We're not doing that. <laughs> That's your thing. I brought the monster poplar up here and this monster pine was already on the mill. So I got to cut this thing up first. Now these, we cut up a bunch of inch and a half slabs, rotated them all, stacked them tight, clamped them together. Now we're going to cut them three inches. So we should get about 32 pieces of lumber. Now these are going to go on top of the rafters and give us something. They'll go perpendicular to the rafters and give us something to screw the tin roofing to. That's what we're doing right now. So what happened here? We're gonna take it down. There's gotta be 912 somewhere here. It's probably from like, the, I, I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure it out though. Lesson learned. Where'd we go wrong? Glad I'm not building a house. <laughs>